For as long as I can remember, my dream has been to go to space. Growing up as a kid, that dream seemed like science fiction, like something I could hope for but never really achieve. However, in the last five years or so, the work that people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and NASA and the people from all of the space agencies across the world, they've made that dream seem more and more like a reality. It seems inevitable now that in the next 20 or 30 years, we'll have gone back to the moon. We'll have gone to Mars. We may have even colonized Mars by then. That seems so exciting to me. Something that really stands out to me is the idea that, apparently, on the dark side of the moon, the stars create this brilliant white sheet of space. Because there's no light, and, and, and you look up and there's nothing to detract from their star's brilliance. So that black void that we all imagine space to be is not so. I yearn to see that. It sounds so cool. I want to go to the rings of Saturn, too. Fly through those. I don't know if we should fly through those, but it sounds like a pretty cool idea. I want to go to the big red storm on Jupiter before it's gone forever. I want to see the hexagonal poles of Jupiter, too. I want to see Io and Europa, Ganymede. I want to see Neptune, Pluto, even though it's not a planet for now. It's so important that we go back to the moon and explore beyond the moon and settle beyond our planet because without it, humanity won't survive. We're only one big asteroid away from being, well, like the dinosaurs. Humanity has a role and it's our job to secure that role and that future for the rest of the children yet to come, for the rest of humanity that has yet to be born. Going to Mars and settling Mars and making it self-sustaining ensures that our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren and so on and so forth get the chance to live out their lives, to make advancements, to, keep, to fix our mistakes. It's my dream that we'll go back and do so.